Hello and welcome to one of our first instructional videos. My name is Simon. I'm one of the developers at Core Grounds, and today I'm going to show you how to beat bot level 1. That means I'm going to show you some of the very basic game mechanics and I hope at the end of the video you're all ready for your first games on the Core Grounds. So let's jump right into the game. Here you see the menu. And if you're interested in the different options here, you can check out our previous video on the new client. But today we're gonna hit play, play against bot, and then play against bot level 1. Now the first phase of the game is the pick and ban phase. And in core grounds you have different units, minions, and also towers. And also you have abilities that you can use throughout the game. At first I'm gonna ban a minion and then I'll ban a ability iron strike and if you're not really sure what to pick you can actually scroll through the units and you get a little description about every unit and also a indicator how to uh, or how difficult it is to play this unit. So for example, the stunner very easy to play and at some point you should find a mix of roles, so attacking and also defensive uh, units. And I think today I'll pick the tank and see what the bot actually picks. So the bot goes for deflector and lazoid. So far it looks like a minion build. So I'll pick some towers, maybe the repeater. Again, it's a easy unit and we need some attacking units. Then also pick the boom blaster. Easy, it has a AoE attack. It's pretty good to farm some minions. And the bot goes for the phaser and the kites. Uh, still not impressive, but we'll see. Let's get a attacking minion, so for example the splitter, and maybe to destroy some walls the artillery. Then uh, we pick some abilities, and I like to go for the ability explode, very strong in tower fights and also very useful different situations, killing minions, killing walls, damaging the core. Now then I also pick demolish. With demolish I will be able to destroy the enemy walls. And let's see what the bot goes for. Stun, hurry and farsight. Maybe we'll hmm, pick a healing unit. So for example, or a healing ability. Adrenaline gives you regeneration. Sounds good. Now, uh, here you're able to pick your modifications page, but I think you'll learn later what that means. And then we're ready to get into the game. So you find your different units down here and First, we should build some walls. At the beginning of the game, you get seven walls. And then we should build our towers. So, for example, here. And after that, maybe spawn some minions. We can just click on the minion and then click on the map, and they will start running out of our core. So, once we have done that, we maybe have to look at what is the aim of the game. So the aim of the game is to actually destroy the enemy core up here and to defend my own core down here. And as you can see, the bot actually started spawning uh, some minions and I have to take care of them, otherwise they will run into my core and damage it. So let's build some more walls and uh, 
against easy bots is always good to actually advance into the uh, into the half of the opponent. Next, uh, we maybe can use an ability. Uh, you can use ability by click on the ability down here, and then, um, for example, explode. Just place it on the map, and it will explode the enemy minions. We build some more walls, and the next thing you should know is that you can actually move your towers. So just click on the tower, and then click on a vacant wall, and it will move over there. Now we have our Moon Blast in the prime position to actually farm these minions. And maybe we get our phase into the game as well. Uh, no, our repeater, sorry. And then we'll build some more walls. And as you can see, everything on the foreground has a cooldown. So building a wall actually has a cooldown. And moving the tower has a cooldown. So if I move it over here. And uh, you'll also see the same concept when using abilities. And also, uh, the minions. So once I spawn the minions, it takes a uh, long time to actually thing we should know is upgrades. And you can click on your unit and actually give it upgrades. Uh, for example, for the artillery, we can uh, have a damage upgrade. And again, it has a little cooldown until the upgrade is done. And if I do the next upgrade, it will actually take longer. So you have to be a little bit careful with your towers. Uh, so I have to be careful with this tower. Maybe I have to retreat a little bit because it's losing health. So I just retreat. And uh, as I said, you have to be careful with upgrades because uh, if it has a long cooldown, uh, it's actually vulnerable on the field. Maybe do an upgrade with the Moon Blaster. The first upgrades are very short, so we can do it right there. And maybe we're ready for our first tower fight. So let's take this phase out here. And I'm doing this very boldly because I know I have Explode. I'll put my Explode on the enemy tower and then maybe it's not enough. Oh, I lost my tower. It's not, that's not good. But maybe this gives us the chance to actually build our tower up there, be really sneaky. We have to take care of the minions. So spawn some minions, maybe have some upgrade on the minions. And maybe we can support our artillery by or support the artillery killing that phaser. And what you already see me doing here is using the global target. Uh, you can use the global target by clicking on an enemy unit and you will see this little iron side right here indicating that it's uh, all you units should attack this um, minion in this case. You can also put it on this wall or this wall and all units in range will attack. is doing great work down here. I'm actually controlling the minion line, but I will spawn some minions. Maybe we can uh, attack the phaser up here and get closer to the enemy core. We can now use my global target to actually direct my units to attack the sound. Use my explode and maybe my adrenaline to get my units some health. And then also I will push this wall up here and put my wall there. And if we're lucky, we're able to kill that one. And as you see, uh, we're actually getting close to the enemy core 
And if I put my global target on the floor, then I'll be able to attack that one. Maybe spawn someone else. And sometimes uh, we have to watch out that we're not uh, allowing our robots to be killed. serious attack. So first, attack this phaser. I think we'll be able to win that fight with two towers. A little bit first. If not, uh, I can retreat with the artillery. And then let my phaser do the rest. So now my abilities are ready. And uh, I still have to spawn some minions, otherwise I will not be able to control, control the minion line. And now we're talking business, I think. So first I will push this wall, place my wall there, and then actually attack the enemy core. There and we destroyed it. Now, last thing we need to do is click on the emote button and say, Good game. You have defeated bot level one. Very good. So, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little bit. And for your first matches on the core grounds, I wish you good luck and also have fun. If you're interested, join our Discord community. Uh, you will uh, get all the announcements and also be able to chat with us and give us feedback. Until then, bye bye.